Let's do the second type of question. The first one, the objects join together. I said there are three possibilities. The second possibility is they bounce off each other. It's the same two cards. I got to account for the momentum of A before, the momentum of B before, the momentum of A afterwards, and the momentum of B afterwards. And if you add this all up, uh, the total before is equal to the total afterwards. So I plug in the numbers. Two times A uh, before is three, plus four, and B is going backwards, that's negative. So I've got to account for that, that's negative six. And then afterwards I've got two V A afterwards, plus uh, four V B afterwards. Here's where I've got a problem. If they join together, then these two are the same, and I've got one unknown, I just plug in the numbers and I solve for it. But uh, if these aren't the same, if they bounce off each other, you can't predict with momentum what's going to happen. So what I've got to do is I've got to give you one of these. So in a question like this, there would be a final velocity given. For instance, it might say VA afterwards is uh, negative 4 meters per second, or it might say 4 meters per second to the left, and then you've got to put the negative in because backwards or to the left is negative. So if one of those is given, then you can do this. If not, then we got a problem. So we got here 6 uh, minus 6 times 4 is uh, 24. Uh, this is 2, and we know this is negative 4, plus 4VB four afterwards. So, 6 from 24, it's going to be negative 18 here. 4 times 2 is negative 8, plus 4VB afterwards, and it's just simple math. This negative 8 becomes positive 8 when I add 8 to both sides, and so this becomes negative 10, and that equals 4V, sorry, 4VB afterwards, the final velocity of B. So the final velocity of B ends up being 10 divided by 4, which gives, and it's going to be negative, negative 2.5 meters per second, which we write as 2.5 meters per second. Negative means backward. So that's number two. First was joining. Two was they bounce off each other. If they bounce off each other, i got to give you one final velocity. And the third type is an explosion, so let's do one of those. Okay, let's look at the third type of problem we said was an explosion. So here I've got a champagne bottle, and it's sitting there. It's at rest. The cork is loose. The cork goes shooting that way. The champagne bottle goes this way at four meters per second. So what was the velocity of the cork that went that way? Okay, well we have to account for the total momentum before and the total momentum afterwards. In this case, a lot of things are easy because the bottle is at rest with the cork in it before the explosion takes place. So that means the total momentum before is zero. It was not moving. The momentum of A is zero because it's not moving. The momentum of B is zero, so this all adds up to zero. If I was walking with the champagne bottle at the time, then I'd have to add the two masses together and say 92 grams moving forward at a certain velocity. Okay, so let me plug in the numbers. This is going to be zero. This is going to be zero, so everything before is zero. I got 90 times VA uh, afterwards. This is the final velocity after the explosion of four, which is negative four, plus two grams and VB afterwards. I've got one equation and I've got one unknown, so I'm going to be able to solve this. This is probably a good time to mention that the units in here drop out. The units for mass are in every term. So if they're in kilograms, the units drop out. Which means if they're in grams, the units drop out. As long as they're all the same units. I didn't change this to kilograms. I didn't change this to kilograms because it's <clears throat> that is in all of the terms. So I can leave them as grams, which makes it easier. So let's see what I got here. It's 0 equals 90 times 4 is uh, negative 360 plus 2VB afterwards. So I'm going to bring this 360 over to this side. 360 equals 2VB afterwards. So the final velocity of B is the 360 divided by the 2. <clears throat> it's going to be positive 180 meters per second. It's positive. So that's forward. The final velocity is incredibly high. It's 180 meters per second forward. So those are the three types of momentum problems you're going to probably come in, or probably going to see uh, when you're doing linear momentum. What we need to do is do some now where they collide at an angle. And
and see that how that uh, changes things. So there will be some videos on that in the future.